Excited about Airsoft? Hit the like button and comment to join other Airsofters in the conversation. What's up, Airsofters? As many of you may know, the HK416 has one of my favorite silhouettes of AR pattern rifles of all time. This is the Humorex H&K licensed HK416A4 Airsoft Gas Blowback Rifle by KWA. If you're unfamiliar with the 416, it may at first glance look like a plain old M4, but in reality there are some key differences that make it quite unique. On the real rifle, HK implemented a short stroke gas piston system, as opposed to the more common AR-15's direct impingement system. Now, there are debates about which system is ultimately better, but in Airsoft, None of that really matters. What it does mean is that, like the real HK416, the gas piston system requires additional height in the receiver, and by extension, the handguard. In my opinion, that's what makes the 416 look so unique and so aggressive. It does mean, however, that you can't just slap your favorite M4 handguard on one of these puppies. It's got to match the height and uh, the extra features that come with an HK416 receiver. Let's take a look at how it comes in the box. As is pretty standard for Elite Force Humorex products, this HK416 comes in a very svelte black cardboard box. Taking a look inside, we'll get uh, a look at the 416 held nicely in some foam, the included green gas powered HK specific magazine, as well as an instruction manual, some replacement O-rings for the fill valve on the magazine, as well as a loading tool for the magazine itself. Starting up at the front, this HK416 has the bespoke CNC machined free float quad rail that I mentioned just a bit ago. Now, these rails are Picatinny standard, so any modern accessory will fit just fine. Now, behind that, we've got the full metal HK416D receiver, complete with the fully licensed H and K laser engraved markings. Again, notice the receiver height perfectly replicating the dimensions of the real rifle. Up top, we've got a Picatinny rail that runs the length of the receiver all the way through the handguard. And at the rear, they've provided a removable backup iron sight. One key design element, somewhat unique to the HK416 that I wanted to point out, is the junction between the receiver and the handguard. You'll notice that they're keyed together. Now I mentioned before that this means that when swapping to an aftermarket handguard, you can't simply swap any old rail on here. It's gotta be HK416 specific. And it's worth mentioning that different generations and versions of the HK416 in Airsoft have different width keys. So if you're planning on swapping out the one that comes included in the box, do your research. Trust me. This gas blowback rifle also has an ambi select fire switch. Also, because this is a gas blowback rifle, the pistol grip does not house a motor. Instead, you're provided with a handy storage compartment. Another thing that you might notice is that the magwell is cut at a shallower angle than a traditional M4. Thankfully, if you can't source KWA HK416 specific mags directly, the KWA LM4 Stanag magazines work great. Moving back from there, we're presented with a pretty standard buffer tube, which supports an HK branded stock. It has five positions of adjustment, and you don't have to consider battery storage space or any wires in the back to contend with, which means choices for stocks are pretty endless. We began our testing regimen by filling our included green gas magazine with gas, 40 rounds of 0.20 gram BBs, and headed out to our chrono station. Our test showed an average of close to 460 FPS, keeping in mind that the ambient temperature and magazine cooldown are factors in that FPS value, and a realistic rate of fire of about 13 rounds per second. We then headed over to test accuracy at distance. Using 0.25 gram BBs, the 50 foot range proved an easy task for these gas blowback rifles, effortlessly placing hits on the six inch plate and on our EVIC professional silhouette targets. Out at the 100 foot mark, we were still able to land some hits on the six inch plate, and we were still able to land some hits on our EVIC professional silhouette target. Out of the box, this 416 has plenty of range for outdoor play. If you wanna use this indoors, you're gonna to have to do something about that FPS, cause over 450 is pretty hot. In fact, too hot for most indoor CQB fields. Unlike older style LM4s on the 416, you don't need a special tool to adjust the hop up. 
Right here up inside the mag well, under the chamber, there's a small dial. Now rotating this dial left or right will increase or decrease the amount of hop on the BB. It's nice that it's toolless, but it does mean that you have to remove the magazine or break the receiver down every time you wanna make an adjustment. And it can be difficult to do with gloves on. But hey, toolless. Internally and aside from the hop-up unit, these replicas are based on the KWA LM4 system, which is a proven gas blowback system. Part of what makes gas blowback replicas so cool is how closely they resemble the genuine article, not only in looks, but also in takedown. By simply punching out the rear pin, you can hinge the upper receiver, revealing the trigger mechanism and allowing you to extract the bolt carrier group and charging handle. Taking out the bolt carrier group, you can see that the nozzle is polymer and has an O-ring on the back of it, which you should keep clean and lubricated. Much like the real rifle, these systems feature a safety lever that will not engage unless the hammer is locked all the way back. This means that if you pull the trigger without a magazine, the selector will not be able to rotate into the safe position until the charging handle is operated. If you, like me, enjoy the HK416 more than a healthy amount, then you're definitely gonna need to check out one of these bad boys. KWA continues to provide quality, realistic replicas to the airsoft market, and this HK licensed HK416 is no exception. You can find this gas blowback airsoft rifle and everything else you need for your next game right here at evic.com. Thanks for watching. Want even more airsoft content? Hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon. Follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook for epic weekly giveaways.